Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in React.js how to create a function based or a custom React component. So here we got a new output. My name is Charan from this component hello.js. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have shown how to install the react.js on windows 10 operating system and how to create the react app at the end of this video tutorial you'll get that link and this is the application i have created in my previous video first app let me expand this folder notice once i expand this application there are some folders and files are created automatically now before continuing this video tutorial let's check the basic output the default output of this application react.js application go to view click terminal and here we got a terminal which is nothing but a powershell or command prompt to run the react.js application first we need to add our react application name to this react examples folder cd first app is my react application name then we need to run the command called npm nudget package manager start enter and here we got our default output of our application and this is a react component let's continue the today's tutorial let's switch back to the coding part notice in this application there is a source folder which contains all our components and css files javascript files the app.js file which is our default component and this is the code we are seeing this output through index.html if you check in this index.html the div id contains root i'm calling this uh, uh, app.js here this app application the component name now let's create our own custom component in the source folder i'm adding one js file jsx file uh, let's add the hello.js enter and here we got our javascript file now in this jsx file to create our component let's declare a variable called hello and i'm adding a function with em is equals to i'm using em functionality here this function written i'm simply adding h1 my name is Sharon. I want to display this output on this component. Instead of showing the default component, I want to display this hello component. So once we create the function in hello.js, the React component, which is a function, we need to import React from react library so i'm importing the react class from this react library then here i'm exporting um, default this function name column let's save this file so let's save this file save after that to add this component, open index.js file. If you see here, right now the default component name is app, which is our app.js. This function name, this component is here. Where is index.js? Here. Now, instead of app, I want to display this hello.js. This is the output I want to display. So, first let's import hello my component name from dot the path is hello the component name colon and here in the render method we have the react dot strict mode element inside the, the default app component 
here I'm adding my component name is hello see here the hello component that's it let's save this file save all let's check the output I'm reloading the browser this is the app component come to the bottom see here my name is Charan now what I'll do is I don't want to display this component app component so let's delete this app component from the react.strict mode element and also we need to delete this import let's save this file save all compile successfully let's check the output I'm reloading the browser see here we got a new output my name is Charan from this component hello.js as I told it displaying this hello my name is Charan in this index.html with the help of this id root that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel in my next video i will show you how to create the nested components in react js